faculty and students. Um, we are going to learn how to write the meaning of the finite integral in calculus. Many times we find the answer, but we have to explain what does that answer mean. Uh, just like uh, we did before the interpreting the meaning of derivative, here we are going to do the meaning of the finite integral. And uh, this is your page number 57 in the packet, page number 50, page number 57 in the packet. Um, this is provided by College Board. So let's take a look at uh, these questions. These are typically uh, calculator questions. So evaluating the integral is using calculator, but you will have to answer what does it mean. So let's take a look at this first question here, a rate at which rain water flows into the drain pipe modeled by r of t cubic feet per hour so the r of t is already a rate the unit is cubic feet per hour units are very important in this uh, time is from 0 to 8 pipe is partially blocked allowing water to drain out that rate is a d of t so you have a two rates one in one out this is a very typical traditional i would say traditional ap questions where rate in rate out you can see that this was used in 2015 ap exam um, there is already 30 cubic feet of water in the pipe so you are supposed to evaluate and interpret so once you evaluate this answer using calculator 0 to 5 r of t dt, you will get the answer. Interpret the meaning. So we are going to use this graphic organizer for, a, for example. And then later on, we will have to write the answer without this graphic organizer. So definite integral, write this definite integral 0 to 5 r of t dt. What does this represent? So many times students write randomly five hour period or some collected. So let's uh, take a look at this. This represent, you have to use a noun. What is there? Then you have to have a verb and the time interval. So I'm giving you one example ready here, bringing so that you get the idea what College Board want us to write and how, what does that mean, how you should be writing also. So this integral represents the number of cubic feet of rain water. It has to have a noun what is coming. So that's a rain water in cubic feet. Now the verb is flowed into the pipe because R of T is the rate at which water coming into the pipe. Flows into the pipe. So that's why into the pipe over the time interval zero to five hours. You have to have this unit, you must have that unit, amount and the work. work. So let's try, I want you to try the next one by yourself. Let's take a look at this one. How would you write D of T, zero to five D of T DT. So D is the water flowing out. So I'm giving you another Right, ready example here, the answer 0 to t, d of t, dt represents the amount of rain water in cubic feet drained out. You can use the word, any word similar to drain out. You can also say leave the, leaving the pipe or leaking the pipe. Any similar words are okay. As long as you are showing that the water is leaving, getting out of the pipe. Again, the interval is zero to five hours. Now, take a look at the C, which is very interesting. You have to understand that there was a initially 30 cubic uh, feet of water was in the pipe. Five hours period water came into the pipe and five hours period water left the pipe. So what does this represent? This is very interesting and that's, of course, um, the full question is you will have to find this answer, which is putting in the calculators all these values, which we are going to do by end of this uh, video. Um, but the, for now, let's understand how do we write the meaning of this definite integral. So let me bring the answer here. 30 was initially there. 0 to 5 integral R of T dt water came, water left. 
So let's take a look at this. This is the number of cubic feet of rain water. Again, the same noun, but the verb is different. Left in the pipe or is in the pipe. You can write very similar answer. Left in the pipe, remain in the pipe, remained in the pipe over the five hours from t equal to zero to t equal to five. This is very important that you write from beginning to end beginning to end normally there is a special point for interpreting the meaning and uh, meaning has to have a context what the story is about noun verb everything so make sure you know how to write the meaning of this integral now let's take a look at your page number 58 we have a slightly different scenario here page number 58 is example two uh, let's take a look at this story here. A pot of tea cools. Uh, as a pot of tea cools, the temperature of the tea is modeled by differentiable function h of t. h is from 0 to 10. t is measured in minutes. There are so many t's we are talking about the tea, drinking tea, and the time t. Temperature is measured in degrees Celsius. So T and degree Celsius. Remember, this is not a rate. This is not a rate. This is just the temperature. At T equal to zero, initial temperature is 66. And you can see T is cooling down. Okay, this is 2011 AP exam. And question number two means this was with calculator. Uh, this was the traditional questions. So let's take a look at this uh, integral okay so consider the definite integral h prime of t dt is equal to negative 23 they just gave you the ready answer we can't we, we don't have to worry about how they got 23 or what this is interpret the meaning of negative 23 in context of the problem so this is integrating the rate you get the net change this is the net change second fundamental uh, first fundamental theorem of calculus is interpreting the a to b i'm just rephrasing f prime of t dt you get net change so if you integrate the rate you get the net change in temperature we have to write the meaning of this so what is the negative 23 means that now what is changed so let's take a look at this answer i'm just uh, bringing my i'm having hard time to write here so i'm using my ready typed answer negative 23 means that the temperature of the t decreased or reduced any similar word reduced decreased any very similar word you can use by 23 degrees celsius you cannot write negative 23 you cannot use double negatives you already use the word decrease you cannot use negative 23 over the time interval 0 to 10 minutes this is minutes very important units very important and this is what temperature of the tea so from 0 to 10 minutes temperature is reduced to negative 23 that means reduced by 23 degree celsius let's take a look at the third example you have on the same page each and every one are slightly different so you must understand the meaning of how to be right so let's take a look at the third example here on that same page t is in minutes r prime of t this is a rate again you are given a rate okay time increases rate is feet per minute so let's read carefully this is 2007 ap exam a volume of the spherical hot air balloon expands the volume expands volume expands as the air inside the balloon is heated the radius of the balloon in feet 
is model by twice differentiable function r of t is a radius of the uh, balloon 0 to 12 hours graph of r is concave down we don't really need that information here because you are only answering part of the question this is only one part of the question the table above gives selected value of rate of change of r prime rate of change is r prime of t radius of the balloon over the time 0 to 12 the radius of the balloon was 30 feet when t is equal to 5 initial amount was 30 now this is again part of the question only not the complete question so let's see what we are trying to interpret and what we are trying to find using the correct unit explain the meaning of 0 to 12 r prime of t dt in terms of the radius of the balloon okay again when you did the previous example we were already given negative 23 here you are not not given the answer you are only given this expression so what this expression represent how much what what is that the rate or radius what rate of radius or the radius alone so bringing the answer again here explaining this represent how much radius of the balloon has expanded now if you don't want to use word expanded you can use increased or you can also use changed changed word is also allowed so let me see what let me explain what this means when you integrate the rate you get r of 12 minus r of 0 which is the net change net change so from 0 to 12 minutes radius of the balloon net change means we know that it is expanding that's why we have to use the word expanded increased change in feet we don't have the answer so that's why we are just writing in certain number of feet over the time interval 0 to 12 minutes over the time interval 0 to 12 minutes so now it's uh, your turn to write the answer on your own please pause the video here and i would like you to write the answer on this exit ticket you are given a rate r of t tied the rest sand is moved from the point pumping station is adding the sand r of t s of t have a same unit cubic yard again this is only part of the question so you are only answering here using correct unit interpret the meaning of 0 to 6 integral r of t dt what does this mean in context of the problem please pause the video here and then write your answer and I'm going to bring my answer. You can check your work. Okay, so let's take a look at this answer. 0 to 6 R of T DT represents the amount of sand measured in cubic yard. Check your work. Did you use the word cubic yard? Amount of sand. Tide has removed. The word has to be there removed from the beach over the time interval 0 to 6 hours check your work now let's take a look at the one full length free response question which is in your packet also and that is a full free response question you are supposed to evaluate so bring your calculator and uh, let's work on that problem okay, so interpreting in context your page number 60 this is your page number 60 many times uh, word problems has again so much information there so much information there that uh, you have to read it twice normally you are given a 15 minutes for this kind of questions you have a 15 minutes for this type of problems so make sure 
you write the equation straight into the calculator y1 y2 so this is your y1 this is your y2 put the equation in a calculator right away okay so i'm just showing you here the equations in the calculator put that in a y1 y2 right away okay so now let's uh, read this further okay so let's take a look at this uh, first thing you should do it put those equations in a calculator that saves a lot of time do not attempt to do by hand put that equation in y1 y2 know that your y1 is a r and y2 is a b okay so let's visualize this problem here amount of drink coming in beverage and amount going out and initially there is 2000 gallons of beverage in the storage tank so i like to visualize here think about this i'm just bringing that here for first question storage tank 2000 gallons of water is there r of t is going in b of t is going out to the bottles okay read first one the amount of beverage in the storage container increasing or decreasing at t equal to 10 minutes increasing decreasing you are already given a rate so all you have to do it is putting in the calculator r of 10 minus b of 10 and just check the answer and if it is a negative because the rate is negative you can say that the amount is decreasing so this is typically two point question r of 10 minus b of 10 again the rate coming in rate going out the difference is what's left there so amount of the beverage is increasing decreasing put in a calculator y1 y2 on a home screen r of 10 minus b of 10 all you need is positive or negative and the rubric says as long as you are showing this is worth two points so a is worth two points all you are checking which rate is or you can say this way also this is also which rate is bigger which rate is smaller is more coming in or more going out based on that the amount is increasing or decreasing okay so now let's take a look at the second part how much gallons of water flow into the storage how much gallons of water i mean sorry not water <laughs> beverage flow into the storage container during 30 minute time interval how many gallons of water how many gallons of water so for that part you will have to actually evaluate so i'm bringing my answer again here what how much how many gallons of beverage flows in so that means coming in integral 0 to 30 r of t dt you must show this setup you must show this setup answer must be minimum three decimal places your answer has to be three decimal places it has to have a unit so rubric is two points for this one point for the setup one point for the answer up to three decimal place with unit okay so let's take a look at the c how many gallons of beverage are in the storage container at 40 minutes how much water how much beverage is in the storage container notice the difference between b and c this is only asking for flow into so all we need is r of t integral 0 to 30. this one says how many gallons of water in the storage container at 40. so for that part you will have to consider how much was there how much came and how much left so let's take a look at c you had already 2000 gallons of beverage 40 minutes r of t is the rate already how much came and how much flew out so this is a three point question one point for the answer 
one point for you are including initial amount and another point is for the setting up of this integral okay let's take a look at the last part find b prime of 50 using the correct unit explain the meaning in context to the problem so here in a free response question is actually each and every one is independent to each other so if you could not do the first one, you could do easily try to do the second one. If you cannot do the second, you should try to do the third. They are all independent of each other. So to find B prime of 50, all you have to do is you have already put in the calculator. So using calculator on the home screen, DDX of Y2 at 50, you will get the answer. Now X and uh, uh, determining i mean uh, interpreting the meaning in context to the problem so let's take a look at that part b prime of 50 is negative 5.164 what is the meaning of that that means a rate of filling bottles is decreasing now remember b is already a rate now we are finding the rate of rate so that's why unit is gallon per minute square the rate of filling bottles is decreasing rate is decreasing gallons per minute square so if i show you this is my rubric or my worked out the answer which i have already posted in the classroom and i want to show you the college board responses college board responses are here with a rubric these are the college board responses with a rubric you can see that when you consider r of 10 b of 10 and answer with a reason one point for the integrand one point for the answer one for the one point is given for this is called integrand one point for the initial condition and one point for the answer with the unit and the same thing here rate of filling bottles decreasing gallons per minute square or you are allowed to write minute per minute so make sure you are ready to answer this type of calculator part question where not only you evaluate the integral but uh, writing the answer in context and you have to know how to use your calculator see me anytime send me the email i'll be happy to help you to use your calculator and uh, thank you so much.